Minnesota Fighting Vikings cornerback Patrick Peterson is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, and he's still doing the damn thing, even though he's going to be 33 years young headed into the 2023 NFL season. Now, the big question is, will the Vikings, uh, with regime change, Brian Flores as new defense coordinator, uh, are the Vikings going to run it back? I mean, Patrick Peterson, respect, has been a leader, been a mentor to the young cornerbacks on this team, and even though the Vikings defense was garbaggio absolute hot trash uh p squared had a, a career season minus covering isaiah hodgins but then again who could stop isaiah hodgins i don't know Wh- whatever but you know the question is in brian flores's new defense where he stresses man coverage and patrick peterson used to be one of the best man-to-man corners in, in the nfl maybe not so much anymore and he thrived in donatel's zone heavy scheme last season is this actually going to work well, reportedly, there's mutual interest to make it work. So, Patrick Peter, well, earlier, Patrick Peterson on his podcast, All Things Covered, says that he would love to run it back with the Vikings. And apparently, from the Vikings and Flores' point of view, Nah, uh, this is from Vikings where uh, the Vikings have a lot of decisions to make in terms of their free agents. They have four of them at the cornerback position with the highest profile player being Patrick Peterson. They misspelled uh, Duke Shelley. Uh, there have been some questions as to whether he will be back or not. And Darren Wolfson of Score North had some insight. Wolfson reported on Score North scoops with Doogie that he is led to believe that the Vikings and Brian Flores definitely want Patrick Peterson back. So. Absolutely would love to see it, man. And Patrick Peterson last season, respect. Nine passes broken up, a career high, five interceptions, which is his most uh, since 2012, which is his second season in the league. Uh, 77.3 quarterback rating when thrown at, lowest since 2015, and a 79.7 PFF coverage grade, six in the NFL, and he was named Pro Football Focus's second team All-Pro. And Patrick Peterson, like, like we said, like he, he's not the man-to-man corner like he was at the beginning of his career, uh, and it showed the last couple seasons uh, – uh, with the Cardinals, but since he came over with the Vikings, whether it's with Zimmer, whether it's with Donatel, uh, he has succeeded, uh, even though he is getting up there in age, just his knowledge of the game, just his instincts, just his ball hawking skills. I mean, they certainly are there. And Peterson is in line to get some cash this offseason, but Spot Rack has estimated his market value at around $6.4 million. Now, in 2021, he signed a one year $8 million deal with $2 million in incentives. Uh, and then last year, he played on a one year $4 million deal. So it would be a uh, a bump in pay, but it is still certainly uh, reasonable uh, for the Vikings, especially since they're in a tight cap situation. And looking at the cornerback room right now, you got Peterson and Duke Shelley are free agents. Uh, I would love to have both of them back, frankly. Shandon, mm, Boyd as a special teamer, maybe. Uh, but under contract, you have a Caleb Evans, a fourth-round pick. Andrew Boot Jr., a second-round pick. Cameron Dantzler, a third-round pick from 2020. Uh, so you have guys that have potential, uh, but actual dudes who have done it on the field and also that institutional knowledge, uh, that that's what P-squared. And th- even though Patrick Peterson is not that man-to-man guy like he used to be, like it, it would be ludicrous if Flores deployed him uh, like Xavier Howard in Miami or uh, Revis with the Patriots. Like, like That would be r- redonkulous for Flores to do that, and Flores is smart enough to know that he'll develop a a new role for Patrick Peterson, and maybe Peterson even takes some safety snaps uh, in some of the various looks that Flores uh, puts out there. But uh, either way, like like I said, I, I would like to have Patrick Peterson back. I think that his leadership and knowledge is invaluable on the back end, and as was evidence last year, uh, he still has a little bit of gas left in the tank. So uh, let's run it back. Let's get this thing done, man. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, report ba- Vikings and Brian Flores. Uh, definitely want Patrick Peterson back. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo, but to next time, Skull Production Value.